Going hard, yo. Go. 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 Going hard, yo. Going hard, yo. Go. Going hard, yo. Go. Going hard, yo. Go. Going hard, yo. Going hard, yo. Going hard, yo. Go. Going hard, yo. Go. Go. Hello and welcome to the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. I am Josh Delay. I'm here with Alan Wagner, and I'm here with a special guest, Ethan Peterson. Hello, Yo. Ethan. How's hey, what's going? up, Ethan? Happy to have you here. Hello. And per use, producer Pete. Yeah. Hey. Look at that. In the background. Doing, he he doing, has no problem saying hello to everybody. Yeah, in, doing the Lord's the work back there. He's the doing place. a great job. Yep. Um, this is a special occasion, as you can see from my attire. If you're listening on the Apple app. Oh, we're, this is the part where we explain for the non-visual. Uh, yeah, we, we don't want anybody who doesn't have a visual to understand. Yeah, Josh has his nipples out. No, that's not true. I mean, I can see them through your shirt. No, I'm I'm wearing uh, what is colloquially called a woman beater. Oh, all right. going back to his Irish roots. Yes, yeah. yeah, my exactly right. <laughs> and for those of you He's who letting can't... the fucking sunspotted shoulders <laughs> hang out, all fucking just. And also, um, for everyone who cannot see. Our first guest on this all-white podcast is a black man. <laughs> and even at that, it's only half black. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, we're not, we're not we're, getting too crazy. We're, we're, just we're, we're just dipping a toe in the water. Take, you know what I mean? Everything in stages, you know, one, one, one day. Yes, time. everything in moderation, especially race relations. Yeah. You know? Oh, I like that. A little For sure. You, uh, you know, I actually thought about this today. You brought up the, me being Irish, and... I'm half Irish, half Italian. No, you're not. The worst. Jesus Christ. Well, I agree that they're horrible people. <laughs> Both Fucking of them. starch eaters, the whole lot of them. <laughs> um, so I thought about this. I thought about um, what I think would be a great alternative name for the Irish potato famine. An Irish goodbye. <laughs> oh, all right. They were all dying. Yeah, I see what you yeah. did there. Yep. And I can say that because... Probably someone. The Irish stairway to heaven. <laughs> yeah, yes, exactly. Yeah, exactly. The the potato pile to <laughs> the, the gods. <laughs> I'm assuming the Irish. No, they're very Catholic, so they they believe in a. They're they're monotheistic. The single god. So just yeah, one it's like god. The, the Tower of Babylon, but the the pile of potatoes. Babylon yes. Or whatever. And you know how the the Tower of Babel. Oh, uh, Babel. Yeah, Babel, not Babylon. That's yeah, okay. Yeah. You were very close. Yeah, I, I used. To I happen to be a historian. Place, I guess. I don't know. Do you know about Cyrus the uh, <laughs> Second? Jesus Christ! <laughs> let's 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 do it. Well, Get do you want me to give you a history lesson, or please, do you want to please. fucking figure your shit out? I mean, we could just. I mean, I could either like take a wild guess, or we could have pistol uh, producer Pete do some research, or we could have look up do, Cyrus uh, the Second. I know who he is. Who do you think Cyrus the Second is? Uh, he's he sounds like uh uh. Like it's like an old white man from uh, Eastern Asia. Wow. That, uh, Let me explain something to you. There's no white people in Eastern Asia. Well, no, this guy. No, but they, <laughs> they, they traveled there to, and then he lived there for the remainder. Of yes. His life. So a white person in BC times went to Eastern Asia. Yeah, and, and uh, <laughs> that's why he's significant is because he was the only one uh, white in that area. So. Uh, yeah, that's basically what it was. He yeah. was the most fair. <laughs> Therefore, he ruled over everybody. He was the first uh, guy to take a, a vacation to the Philippines. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to Thailand. I'm yeah. definitely not fucking children there. I'm That's exactly. Not. Well, back then, you couldn't even do it. You know? oh, I'm pretty fuck. sure you could. I'm pretty sure they just this year changed the age of consent from like 12 to 16. Are, are you Holy being serious? Shit. Yeah, I'm being serious. Yeah. Progress, well, I'm going to I'm gonna go on record on the podcast that saying right now that I don't agree with <laughs> I don't think that's right. <laughs> no, I think I that's think infringing that's right. on rights is what I believe. Yeah, like what if those kids want to fuck? Exactly. You don't know. That's why we need a libertarian society so kids exactly. can fuck. Exactly. Gary that, Johnson that, fucks kids. <laughs> we that's, all know that. That's the libertarian agenda. Everybody knows this. <laughs> yes, of course. Yep. The liber, uh, libertarian razor, they call it. <laughs> you know, it's a... There's a thin line between a libertarian and a child fucker. <laughs> it's always been the case. <laughs> it's always been the case. Yeah. And that's why my dad and I have always re uh, voted Republican. Yep. That's why I disagree with third parties. All right. What? Because they're all child rapers. <laughs> okay. That's yeah. fine. 
That's right. fine. Anyways, do you know who Cyrus II is? Um, it just kind of talks about how he, he invented human rights and politics. He did. I, okay. He did. I felt like that was the wrong direction. Uh, but w- what was his persuasion? Uh, it seems culty. Well, no, 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 no. <laughs> Not like his uh, rhetoric. I mean, it was w- Eastern. What Asian. was his, uh, his, where he was from? What's his nationality? And You can say race. I'm being careful around <laughs> you. Uh, I mean, it says Persia. Yes, he's Persian. Okay. Oh, okay. He oh, was really? Persian. So he was actually uh, the dude who took down... Uh, Sparta. Oh yeah, and then oh. he, and then he uh, those Xerxes, and then he met up with uh, uh, Marco Polo and got on the uh, the Silk Road and went to Eastern Asia. Oh yeah, you, you're right, it is Xerxes. But prior to Xerxes was was Cyrus. Yes, and uh, and the Persians kind of came up from nowhere. Yeah, I need to get out of this conversation. Why? I I, I, I like where you're going, but I just need to let let you guys kind of. Have just... you ever been on the Silk Road, like on the dark web? Yeah, dude. You can buy ecstasy on Wait, there. Wait, is, is, that, is that actually like? Uh, yeah, you don't know what the Silk yeah. Road is. Oh, that's you know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, yeah. Is that real? Yeah. yeah so the right, Silk so Road. So knowledgeable. Now, granted, <clears throat> all right. I was privileged enough um, as a teenager to have a failure of an older brother <laughs> oh, who okay. went to college for half a semester, learned a lot about drugs, and then came back and lived with my parents where I was when I was still living there. But I was living there because I wasn't because I was uh, not an adult. Yep. And so we would go on the Silk Road and order all sorts of research chemicals. You know what I mean? It was a good time. But you, you could order actual ecstasy. You could order, you know, DMT. You, could, or, you could order toads. I had a, you know, I had this uh, this friend of mine uh, when I lived in the dorms in college back in the day who uh, used to send drugs to a post office box and pick them up all the time. Like that's <laughs> really? a, that's a real. Thing. What yeah, was his name? Uh, Sean. What's his What's his last name? Uh, am I allowed to do this? <laughs> I'm really Call trying to out. entrap you, but <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. Jesus Christ. Uh, but yeah, you would get like fucking like acid. And when my brother was like, yeah. when my like, brother was like fucking crazy drugs. Yeah. When my brother drugs. was like my age, my dad works at a like in a warehouse. He ships. He like ships stuff, or he can. Um, and he like gave my dad a package. I was like, hey, can you send this to Wait, my who is uh, this? my my brother? Oh, cool. All right. Um, and he's like, hey, can you send this to Omaha through your work? <laughs> and my dad was like, for some reason, he had a feeling. <laughs> and he opened it, cut it open. There was like coffee grounds and, you know, stuff you make cookies with, flowers. <laughs> um, but then at the bottom was a fucking ounce of pot. <laughs> fucking Christ. way, really. And I remember my dad, I went over, I went over it. And he's like, he's like, you know what Michael had me do? I was like, what? <laughs> he's like, he's like, he gave me a package to send to him in Omaha. <laughs> just, he just created a meal and I, out and of it. And I was like, I was acting ignorant because I think I knew. And I was like, oh, yeah, Dad, that's interesting. And he's like, yeah. Uh, so I was like, curious. Because it's weird. Why is he having me send him shit? I opened it up. It was a like, goddamn ounce of weed. My dad's like, what the fuck? Is he trying to get me fucking in prison? Like, that's like what? the dumbest thing. Like you could. It was one of the dumbest things. That's pretty fucking dumb. Yeah, it was really stupid. I feel like I feel like the ultimate white move there would be to sue your dad for opening somebody else's mail. I yeah, like exactly. <laughs> like that's yeah, a, yeah. That's yeah. the real shit. Like, like, the... Stop opening my shit, dad. He's fucking thirty-one. Uh... Fuck you, dad. He's <laughs> thirty-one. <laughs> The, the real, yeah, the real crime was that uh, there was there was a um, uh, post office uh, fucking opening. I don't know what the fucking. Crime well, it would have been what's speedy. The, what's the crime? He was using speedy. Do you know that? Uh, oh, yeah. Like like speedy for like yellow freight, like that shit. Well, maybe. Oh, okay. I'm pretty sure you haven't yeah. worked in a warehouse, have you? <laughs> well, I know that speedy is also referred to as yellow freight. You want to feel my bicep? My, yeah, get in here. That's feeling good. What do you think? Scale oh, one to ten. No, no, no. That it got. Uh, these are all right. No, no, no. Here. There it is. Yeah. One, right. one to ten. Scale. Um, Conor McGregor. Conor McGregor. <laughs> He's a fucking God mick. Damn, all right. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, you got Irish, and yeah, you might as well fight Conor McGregor. I mean, I think I could beat him. You think so? Yeah. I'd be like, fuck you. Do you think he's listening? This could be the next person. No, I don't think he's listening. (laughs) But if he is, Connor, guess what? $16 million and we will box on HBO in 1999. Dude, actually, I feel like that would draw a crowd, though. You know, like the whole thing is about like getting enough people to like watch the show to be like profitable. And we have a lot of influence. No, no, no. It it doesn't have anything to do with that. It's the fact that like you're just a regular (laughs) fucking person and he's like a highly trained individual. And so many people would want to see him like actually murder somebody. I think. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's why like the Jake Paul fights are so like that, yeah. are so popular. But he yeah, fought. Exactly. But he fought Nate Robinson last time. Yeah, but he, he I think won he's, too, didn't he? Oh, he fucking yeah, like, like really hurt him. Yeah, really yeah. hurt him. Yep. 
Yeah, it's because Jake Paul is just like a quote unquote whatever. He's a YouTube millionaire, but he's a quote unquote regular dude. And right. He's just like trying to fight. He's fighting. He's fighting fucking Ben Askren in like a few months. Oh yeah, legit UFC MMA? fighting. No boxing. Oh, it's boxing with Ben or, Askren. So, is it? Yeah, I think it's dude, boxing. Dude, that's bullshit. Ben Askren's gonna get his fucking ass knocked <laughs> out. And I lo- Ben Askren. Here's the deal. I was I was a wrestler in high school. I respect the art of wrestling, mm-hmm. and it is sad to see. What's happened to Ben Asker the last couple of times he has competitively fought with people. Yeah. And and he's going to get beat up by a fucking YouTuber. And he's literally like one of like the most important people in the history of American wrestling. Like yeah. he truthfully is. Like he's so respected. And he's about to get his ass knocked out. Well, that shows ball. you how little the people of America really respect wrestling. Oh, and they, sh- they shouldn't respect it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not saying they should. I'm just saying I do. <laughs> I'm not saying that I speak for anybody because I, I just don't. But... <laughs> But it is sad to see that he's going to literally get knocked out by a guy who, uh, like, went into a forest. and Or was that his brother? Hey, uh, I don't right. remember. They which both which one did the forest with the dead Asians? I think that was, uh, I think it was see, Logan. There's, there's Jake. Yeah. I think it was Logan. I think, yeah, I think it was Logan. Yeah. Does Jake fight, too? Is that a thing? They both fight. They both box. But, yeah. like, Logan's the only one that's actually, any, like, good enough to, like. No, J- I think Jake, I think Jake is the, the one that's, like, been fighting people, but, right? Or no, Logan? Logan. dude, Logan has been, too. Oh, really? I think they both are, like, on winning streaks. Okay. It's fucking They, like, beat really people weird. up. <laughs> and I mean, then they're like, it. hey, check out my fucking $40 million mansion. Bitch. I'm going to fucking God. drop a water balloon on this fucker's head. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to load it with <laughs> AR-15s and fucking <laughs> yeah. rocket launchers some, and shit. I'm going to drop some illegal explosives on this motherfucker. They're just, they're good though. That was the craziest shit. Is like their house being part or like raided for partying during during COVID. And they're like, yeah, they just got a bunch of guns up in here. It's like Wait, what? what? Really? Why yeah, you didn't they? hear. But yeah, I think it was Jake Paul's uh uh house. He's either Jake or I don't know. They both look the fucking same. Yeah. Either way, um, I can't tell which one's which. Yeah, yeah. they had the, they got like raided by the L.A. County Sheriff's Department because they like got reports that they were partying and shit. And there was just like a shitload of guns, like weapons so, like, in there. No, but like when this happened to like Wheezy. Uh, yeah, he got fucking sent to prison and shit, and then Trump pardoned him. Uh, yeah, shout out Donald Trump, by the way. <laughs> shout out Donald shout Trump. Shout out Donnie. Yo, my, Shouts out my, my, Kodak my, Black and Lil Wayne. My, I appreciate yeah, it. Who's yeah, Kodak my, uh, Black, yeah, by the, the way? <laughs> you're really? Black. Hey, you you're know, black. Who you don't know Kodak Black. I've never, I've never heard of Kodak Black. You've never heard? I guarantee you've heard Kodak Black. Um, I'm is he new? Think. Is he a newer like artist? He's or? been out probably since like honestly like 2014, 2015. Like he's been doing it. That's yeah, okay. I don't know. Maybe. I think uh Drake blew him up cuz he was he was dropping good music but then Drake posted a video to like Instagram of him like da- Drake dancing to his music and that's when he really came up. And then he had that song No Flocking. How does that, that, how does, how does that go? Uh I, I can't I don't know the words, but it's uh Cardi B did a remix. That was her first shit. That was the Bodak Yellow. Oh fuck. Da, na, 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 na. Na, 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 na. You know that shit? Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was, that was Kodak, that was Kodak Black's first. No, 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 no. He doesn't know. I I don't know. I remember it from the club, all right? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, the gay 90s. (laughs) Am I right, guys? (laughs) High five. High five. I love that. Okay. (laughs) Hey, the the gay 90s ain't been gay since the 90s. That's what I heard. Oh, man. That's why I hang out there. I'm straight as fuck. Yep. <laughs> yeah. hey, that's hey, why this... I, that's why I pick up dudes. There. I heard the gay nineties used to have like a comedy night. I kind of wish that would come back. That'd, uh, be, pretty, the, that'd be pretty. The saloon, awesome, the yeah. saloon does. Do the they saloon? actually? Well, it did pre COVID. I wanted to go there and yeah, I want to. Yeah, gay dudes might be top ten audience members. You think so? Well, yeah, yeah. They, they don't give a fuck. Yeah, they're, they're crazy. like fuck it. <laughs> exactly. You could say the wildest shit. Yeah, and they're like, yeah. Well, you can't. You can't. Well, you can't say like. uh you know, God hates fags, but you can say a lot. You of probably God. could, honestly, and they just fucking snap. That's what. <laughs> All right. Oh, huh? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, know how bla- you know how white black dudes <laughs> snap their fingers like, mm-mm, child. <laughs> that's, a, that's, that's my impression of a white black. A yeah, white what does black that even mean? I, <laughs> I mean, really, though, like, if you're going to take it in the ass, can you really get offended by a joke? Like, there's there's two types of pain. Yes, their sex you're taking... is so offensive. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> All right, that's not a bad. All right, you know what? That's not what I meant. But you know what I you mean? You offended like... me as a straight white male. <laughs> I'm offended right now. I'm saying that they're used to, like, pain. They're used to, like, <laughs> like, that's just, like part of the actual real shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're, they're, they're used to turning literal asshole pain into flesh. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So it's so like, words. so which hurts worse, a bad joke or literally, you know what I yeah. mean? Like, 
Yeah. This Dick, episode's never coming out. Yeah, now. Dick's, I realize oh, that. Oh, no, it's, Dick's, it's coming out. Dicks and bonus may break my bones, <laughs> but words can never. Exactly. Hurt. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> now you're getting it. I definitely get it now. Uh, so, so that's the thing. Like, we'd be teaching. Uh, Social tolerance through like sing songy rhymes. Yeah, that's the important thing, you know. I was at uh, the Amazon store in the Mall of America, and I came across a book. Uh, they're teaching kids young now called "The Anti-Racist Baby." I thought you were gonna. I thought you were gonna give us a a, a review of Roots. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't ready for that. My heavy. name is not Toby. My, <laughs> name, <laughs> my name is Kunta Kinte. Uh, no, there's a, the anti. I took a picture of it. I'm trying to find it right. The, the anti-racist baby. Uh, which some dude wrote, and I it's like a baby at like a Black Lives Matter rally, and he's got his little fist on oh his fucking God. <laughs> He has black fists? Yeah. They paint his yeah, fist black. Yeah, and it's like, I mean, if you're going to start him that young, I guess, like, yeah, that's, that's really a problem is racist babies. That's, a, that's, on my, that's on my agenda, is these mother, these racist babies. Good always God. doing, they, they got their fucking little, little eyes closed, always making fun of Asians and shit. They look, <laughs> look at racist babies. Every baby is racist. Look at that shit. Days. The anti-racist baby. Oh, that is too good. <laughs> right? God. That is yeah, and I good. went through the pages and it's like, yeah, like teach your baby, you know, to respect people of all colors and creeds and origins. And I, you know, I actually I, saw the opposite of that yesterday. What's I that? was on Facebook and I saw tactical baby gear. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is it so, something so, like so the, the, baby, the, the baby goes here, your nine goes here, <laughs> and, and and your clip goes here. It's, it's so all leather specifically for when you're bringing the baby to like raid the capital or something. Yeah. Yes, right? exactly. Yeah, like, okay, all right. That's it's like cool. you don't want you don't want your firstborn to miss out on the insurrection. You know, you know, uh, people always say that like uh, ba- like you know uh, racism is nurtured from like your environment. Not it's not like born into you or anything. Yes. Uh, I think it's the exact opposite. I think babies are born <laughs> racist. And, yeah, you have to take uh, it out of them. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I actually wow, dude, that's profound. No, I, I mean I'm that's just profound. like I'm just I'm just an observer of the world. That being so, I mean, said, though, if that was true, I would definitely be way more racist because <laughs> <laughs> nobody nurtured any yeah. racism out of me, dude. They were all like, "Go ahead, In fact, be it was racist." Encouraged. <laughs> I'm from a town of 2,000, dude. I, I would look at Ethan and be like, I don't think he should be in my home. <laughs> He's going to take my dandelion painting. I, I'm been, That's yeah, a precious I've been I, wish, I wish he would take that. It's, it's that was, a, that was uh, in episode one and two, so uh, you better not take that, all right? It's worth okay. something. <laughs> That's a going hard podcast artifact. <laughs> Is it? Okay. Yeah, it was right yes. back here, um, and it, it's not there anymore. 1,000 years from now, someone will be carbon dating this. Yo. And they'd be like, see that statue of that man? It'll be a game. Hey, in, do, in a wife beater and a backwards should, hat. Should we, should we do a throwback episode? Hand me that, hand me that painting. Let's All fucking right. get, okay. let's, let's recreate it. Wow, we're getting very visual. Sorry for anybody who's listening oh, on the man. iPod app. Yeah, here we go. Oh, boy. That really yeah. looks like shit. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. All right. Hey, yep. should, should I call my girlfriend here to bring us shots? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's call her quick. Oh. Like I think you meant like like vert like just like no well, she's I, here in the well building, I'm not gonna yell I don't know that'd be funnier I think look producer Pete's trying to control the levels and oh, okay, I'm okay. not trying to make his job any harder because I respect him and I love him as a as an equal human mm. she, she was working out remember that I think she knows that we're on the podcast because we're in the same building and she's not gonna pick up yeah oh, I'm pretty sure she that's just problem. heard your yeah. request. I want a shot of tequila though. We have to, uh, we I'm not tequila. taking a shot of tequila. You will. You will not, for the I'm podcast. Uh, for the podcast. Do you, do you want automated to throw voice up messaging on our... system. Yes, actually, that'd Seven, be a great clip. Six, three. We could use the clip. Six, Are we leaving one, her a message? Four nine. <laughs> I'm going to make sure everyone two, hears her phone zero, she answer. Is not available. Well, she doesn't have her voicemail set up. At the tone, up. Please it literally just read. When you Isn't she supposed to be recording? You may hang up. Or she didn't say her name or more on. Oh, hold on a second. Hey, baby. Hey, uh, you said you took Nyla out when you got home today, right? I did. Uh-oh. Okay. She just like freaked out and like peed like a bunch. On the f- in in the house? No, I took her out because she was freaking out. Obviously. Well, baby, that was at like four thirty. It's been five hours. I don't know. Usually, she doesn't have to go that bad at this time, though. Anyway, I was calling you for a very specific reason, and I love you, by the way. (laughs) Yeah, this is great. I love you, too. What is the specific reason? Do you think you can bring that bottle of Espelone in here and then also go into our closet and grab one shot of Jameson for Alan? Or or vodka. 
Um, yeah, I can do that. Just I'm outside of the yeah, right take, now. Yeah, absolutely take your time. I'm not. I'm not pressuring do you, have, you. Do you. I have love pickle you. juice. The is there best. any? Is there any chaser? Yeah, do you have pickle oh, juice. Yuki. We have. Can you maybe pour a couple small glasses of pickle juice for these guys who are afraid? I'll just bring the jar of pickle juice and some glasses. I'll, yes. I'll take some JMO if there's pickle back. Or I have uh, lemon juice if that'd be better. Appar- apparently, we need. Uh, Two shots of JMO. Just bring the whole bottle. Just bring okay, two I'm bottles. Okay, I'm not a bartender. Yeah. Just bring <laughs> okay, baby. Actually, do this. Do this. Just, just grab four shots of Jameson and a, and a jar of pickles, and then five shots of Jameson. <laughs> just grab five of the shooters of Jameson, and then just a jar of pickles. That's all you gotta do. I'm so sorry. I love you. You're better than me. I'm oh, you the know worst what? Person in the world. Just four. I got one right here. Okay. Oh thank you. God. I have to pick up our dog's shit now. Yeah. Grab that no, shit. We, Feel that we'll heat. Save, in your we'll hand. save this. One okay. For a don't second. be nasty. Yeah. I love you so much. <laughs> One of the too, sponsors, right. Jim Beam Bourbon. Hey, not yet. <laughs> oh, fuck. Right. So I'm a little early. Whoa, dude. That's Whoa. after the break. That's oh. right. Jesus Christ. Breaking, wow. the, breaking the goddamn format. Actually, producer Pete, can you block that out? Can yeah, you just edit, bleep that out? Edit, edit that out, please. Yeah. Edit, edit uh, that out. You got it, guys. Edit. <laughs> <All right. laughs> edit that They're out. They're only paying for a two minute ad. There's not. <laughs> oh, Lordy. So, you know, so what, you know what I was thinking about today? Oh, go ahead. Penises. Actually, this. <laughs> It's so weird that you always know what I'm thinking about. <laughs> um, so I was thinking about like how I don't really have a dog in the fight, but I really do support the trans movement. <laughs> okay. Because I've always had a fear of like losing my penis in an accident. <laughs> okay. And now there's all these doctors who could easily just make me one. True. Yeah, they got the they got the, like the Reebok pump penises. You ever seen those shits? I haven't. Or they put like they. You've, like, been, you've really spent time on this. <laughs> I have. It's it's just interesting. So they got like the they got. You can also do this if you're a man uh, that has uh, trouble staying hard. I, I watched a Vice documentary. So it goes, you just go into you your pump, urethra you pump, and you like, nope, the, nope. I'll tell you about. I'll tell you all about it. So just, they put they put all, like basically a, a tube it. in your penis. They put like stints in your penis, right? And so oh, it can boy. it can go soft. But if you have the ability to not get hard at all, they'll they'll take out one of your testicles and they'll put literally like a Reebok pump. In one of your, so you just, yeah, like you have, it's like, like a, hookup, like a like where you put a what the fuck are you talking no, about? No, 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 it's no, no hookup. Does it have the Nike symbol? Huh? Does uh, it have the Nike uh, symbol? Uh, <laughs> yeah, dude, yeah, just right on the side, doing flames. Okay, and I, don't want, I don't want Reebok, but I want a Nike pump. <laughs> so, yeah, no, so it's, it, it's in your balls, and so, like, okay, so this is your dick, right? Yes, fuck, I can't. That, is, that is definitely my dick. This is your dick, right? Right that here. And then like here's, one of your, here's one of your balls, and then you just like that. No fucking way. Yeah, and it stays hard. Can I like? Is that? Just, and I like, think you just squeeze it, and then it goes. See, no, this like sounds. That. This sounds. Is great it? Is because... this for? Is this for trans? Uh, I think it's for a trans, or if you just can't get your dick hard, well, or if your or, dick gets lopped off in a terrible accident. That too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's re- what I'm. Or, or if about. you want to reduce the like chance of getting babies by half. Okay. And oh. just get your dick hard, like when you when you're not actually hard. Oh, okay. So you're saying, okay. So you're saying that you could get your dick hard without like the chance of coming. Is that what you're well, saying? Well, no, no, no. I mean, like, uh, like I'm saying, like somebody who's full has a fully functioning penis, right? Yes. And two functioning like testicles. Yes. <laughs> so first off, oh, okay. first off, you lop one off, you get half the chance of uh, getting pregnant. Yes. And then. Also, if you're completely limp and you just want to have a fucking boner for no reason, you can just pump it up. Exactly, yeah. And there's a lot of times where I'm like, I would like to have a boner right now. I would now, love right, guys? That's what I mean. I'm no, bowling with I mean. I'm bowling with the like, fellas. It would be great to have a boner right now. If I'm, if I'm just chilling at the house, I'm just like, what would it, you know, making sure my pants fit right. Yeah. Like, what, what would a boner look I'm like? I'm back home for Christmas. I'm like, hey, Grandpa, check it out. I'm the alpha now, you old bitch. Dude, I exactly. popped a blue chew before this. This is the Getting Hard podcast, no right? We, no. this, is the going, this is the Getting Hard podcast. Yeah. Now. <laughs> getting hard That's what this is. We're just getting hard with yeah. the fellas. That's with what our, it is. Yeah, we'll never have a our, woman on here. With our Reebok it's always pumps. dudes who are hard as fuck. That'll be like our new opener. While the intro's going, we'll just be pumping our fucking <laughs> yeah, dicks dude. up. With and then little you'll little see a little spurt of white, but it'll kind of like fall before <laughs> yeah, it hits the yeah, table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, have, right. we have weak loads, all of us. Oh, yeah. Mine, uh, mine Not very go, powerful. Like, mine just dribble out the end and just fucking fall on the floor. Which is perfect for the podcast. Yeah. I put a tissue over mine, then pump it up, and I pretend it's a ghost. I go, Woo! <laughs> you know, people say you have a face for radio. You have a jizz shot for radio. Oh, nice. You don't need to it see makes it. A lo- it makes a lot of noise. It's not impressive. But... It makes noise, and it's crazy sounding. I don't it know, sounds Radio p- d- p- dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It'd be great if I had, like, a guest host in here, and there's just, like, little strings just hanging <laughs> Just, like, how I, how I Just a little protein. Just, like, yeah. <laughs> Yep. Little ghosts. No, not how I met, fucking, uh, <laughs> how uh, I met your no, mother. No, no, uh, no, something about Mary. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Mm. Yep. 
When the, Cameron the, Diaz the, got the, common in her the, hair? The jizz, yeah, she fucking rubs it. Yeah. Anyways. Never yeah, seen she, that. Never seen it? Too young. All right. Too young. All right. Yeah. Uh, 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 be, what the fuck? Ben Stiller guy? comes ben? in her hair. Okay. She also, Brett jizz. Favre shows an appearance. And oh, yeah, Brett Favre is in that. Yeah. Yeah. Does his penis make an appearance? Nope. Weirdly. Weirdly. He had just won three consecutive MVPs. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> so at, at that point, he's like, I can do whatever I want to win. Mm-hmm. Dude, that's the thing about Brett Favre. And look, I don't want to be woke. I'm All not right. woke. I'm wearing a wife, Peter. But um, <laughs> it's hilarious that what Brett Favre got taken down for sexually was a dick pic. Right. When God knows what he was up to throughout the entire <laughs> 90s. God you, knows. You know dude. what I mean? Makes Ben Roethlisberger blush. Right. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Speaking about weird dick shit, have you guys heard of sound? <laughs> have you guys what heard of transition. sounding or what? Sounding? sounding. You guys oh heard yeah. Of sounding. I have heard of sounding. Oh, I know what sounding is. Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I've heard the sound, my friend. Oh my god! Have you done it? No. <laughs> oh fuck. Um. Yeah. For anybody who doesn't know what sounding is, it's where like literally you take this weird metal rod and shove it up your fucking pee hole. Yes. It's crazy. You like that? Uh, no, I've never. Um. Is it? I'm assuming there's porn out there. I've never watched it. Of but, course. Yeah. It's not so much porn. It's just like weird. Fucked well, it's, up it's dominatrix. It's, is that, it's, it's, yeah. do, it's in that dominatrix. Is that, that's like something sector. you find on like rot, rotten.com or yeah, whatever. Yeah. Or like if you guys would like the Urban Dictionary, I can do it. For oh, yeah. First of all, please, please, rotten.com please. ages you like a motherfucker. Uh, yeah, you don't know what rotten.com is. No. There's oh, no Lord. chance. I've honestly, Jesus. though, in the past uh, couple of years, I've taken a couple of visits to efucked.com just because I've heard about it from other people. I don't know what that is. You don't know what efucked is? Oh, it's just like. A bunch of like fucked. It. Some of them are like pornographic. Some people are just like getting hurt. Yeah, uh, that sounds know? exactly. Yeah, like Rotten. Rotten. Com yeah. was like dudes getting hit in the head with, you know, helicopter propellers. Oh yeah, and I shit. saw that one. Yeah. That was yeah. fucking wild. It's it's, it's like basically it's the, not good. It's the first website you would go to to watch somebody actually die. Yeah, uh, pissed, <laughs> and now uh, there's so many of them. You know, it's old hat, yeah. but. Yeah. Producer Pete, please do not research Rotten.com. It'll probably not. Yeah, I, this is this is my personal computer. <laughs> <laughs> What would you look up? Would you like to know about sounding? Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. More information, please. Let me hear those sweet sounds. Sounding is the act of inserting a metal rod into your urethra. Yes. Yep. Sounding tubes are meant to be used medically, but some people figure medically? out that they are experiencing sexual pleasure from the act. Okay. Oh, what's the medical? <clears throat> yes, that is exactly what I was going to ask. Probably yeah. a catheter, right? Uh. You have, you have to, like, gape your hole out for the catheter. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Like, some people are excited, like, oh, he's been sounding. This will be nice and easy. Your doctor's like, all right, we're going to have to do a catheter tomorrow, tonight. Go home, have some fun. Are you a doctor? No, but maybe for kidney stones. Oh, oh that too. Yeah. Okay, okay. That all right. makes that, actually yep, a lot yep. more sense. Okay. Speaking yeah. of that, is it, have either of you had uh, kidney stones are you, ever? Dude, my we're, uncle we're, did. We're in our 20s, you fucking. I, dude, our, one of our really good friends had one when he was like yeah 18. but he fucking smokes a thousand packs of cigarettes is that what does is that what does it i, I think, think it's more so. like red meat oh does it does i'm it. fucked he does eat a <laughs> lot of red Christ. meat. yeah I'm my uncle it. had it and he said it was like pissing glass yeah uh yeah. i can't imagine like i've had i've had syphilis our, and i can't imagine like he's a pretty tough guy yeah, like, he just had like your brain deteriorating like yeah like hitler i fucking... still do <laughs> fuck the jews <laughs> oh my god no, I like the Jews, but I do have moments where I'm like, maybe it'd be better, but whatever. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, maybe it could just be whatever. I, I'm just Lord. inspired by his greatness. Josh was denied for a loan last week, and uh, that's where this is coming from. Yeah. Uh, well, when a white person gets denied for a loan, they get very vengeful. <laughs> you have to be careful. Spe- speaking white of- people are generally not dangerous, but yeah. if you deny them financial support, they will turn violent. Oh, we've we've seen that. We have. Yeah. Anyways, uh, speaking of loans, I uh, uh, started looking at houses uh, and mortgage loans. Oh, and good recently. for you, you old fuck. Yeah, I'm an old man. Um, don't clap for that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I mean, hey, you're growing up. No. You're yeah, you're grown. You, come on, you grown bitch. Let's tell everybody that's here with your goddamn houses. No, but uh, no, all I'm saying is, like, I've been out looking at houses and shit, and literally, like, uh, like, see, like, well, looking at houses is very interesting because oh. it's, it's like you're walking into, like, somebody's life yes. and, like, just, like, seeing how they, like, adapt their, like. Can I, can I tell everyone what you told me about the, the other house you looked at? Oh, yeah, this is probably, you're probably going a different direction than I am, but. but yeah, yeah, you ahead. told me that, um, uh, once a Bosnian lives in a house, you'll never get the smell out. <laughs> I should have I said no, I guess. You told me that. What the fuck? <laughs> Jesus Christ. That's what you told me. I don't oh know if it's true. You said, you said you have to replace literally 
every <laughs> interior uh, because you have to renovate square the house. inch. Yeah. Anyways, I, I you have to smell a cabbage out of there. Yeah, yeah. that's the, they're the cabbage. Uh, col- that's the cabbage culture. Right I there, think that but... whole fucking area is just rife with cabbage eaters. Well, cabbage, I think that's what... first off, cabbage is delicious. It is okay. I was cabbage is delicious. Is, cabbage is by far the most versatile yeah. plant. Look, you can't. You can. You're not gonna. Yeah, you're not gonna plant, make up man, for your you racism on, by now God. saying that it smells good. All right. Because what you had told me previously was that these fucking Bosnians they stink up the joint. <laughs> And then they expected to move in on, you know, for a premium price. <laughs> and I told the guy, I hate Bosnians. And he was Bosnian. The, the realtor was Bosnian. You even you were so bold. Just walk say, in there. It's an inch thick of nose hair. Yeah. It's just fucking all over the floor. Exactly. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, you, could, you, said, you said you could smell the sweat. Jesus. That's what you said. You told me. Why am I sitting in the middle? What? I feel sandwiched by, <laughs> by racism right now. All right, well, you're you're the racist. Not us. <laughs> I didn't say these things. I didn't invent these things. Anyways, so okay, continue. Yeah, so I was I, I've been looking at houses, and it's just funny. Like you walk into these houses, and like you kind of see how they have shit set up, and like the things that they've done to the place and stuff. Yeah, I walked into this house uh, literally yesterday, and uh, there's a door about like half size of like a regular size door. And I was like, oh, what's going on inside this door? So I walk in there, and there's another door behind it. And that door had, like, about, like, a foot and a half of, like, actual, like, insula- like not insulation. It was, like, soundproofing on yeah. the other side of it, right? And then there was, like, colorful tiles in the ground and stuff. I'm pretty sure I found, like, you know what you see in movies, like, uh, where it's literally, like, a, like a, where, where the, the serial... Uh, pedophile like keeps their little kids and like fucking touches them and stuff. Yeah, I've the seen a serial lot of pedophile. Like that. I'm, like, I'm pretty sure you're I like found an Ashton one. Kutcher type. <laughs> well, exactly. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure I found one of those rooms, and I'm not sure if I should report it to the police or if I uh, should just tell it to the people on the podcast and just let them handle it. Well, I'm glad that you're doing at least one of those things <laughs> because if you're if you're really concerned, maybe that was the podcast studio, our podcast studio. God damn, you walk in here, you might think there's some human trafficking occurring. It, yeah. I mean, oh, uh, ladies and gentlemen, oh, speaking of human trafficking, uh, um, my girlfriend <laughs> making hey, her uh, first appearance on the podcast. Okay, so what'd you do? I didn't know how to carry it, so I put it in a sweet. Okay, you. Cookie oh, hey. Tin. Oh, actually, that'll come. In, that'll, that'll come in handy. From later. the Minnesota State Fair. Ooh, you also, betcha. These um, shitty cookies that everyone is obsessed with in this fucking stupid I, I, So good. I apologize. <laughs> Uh, we gotta distribute shots. Shot. Don't throw up on the soundboard. Do you need Chase? It. Yep. Do you have like a? I'm absolutely gonna need pickleback. Oh shit! That's the issue though. We we need to get pickleback for. Well, we'll pass it around. I'm, I'll just take mine really quick. You know what's even better than pickleback? Nickelback. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> How many times? Look at this photograph. Jack <laughs> Kroger like heard a guy in a bar. <laughs> yeah. He's like. I was like, oh, can I get a Jason Pickleback? Did you say Nickelback? <laughs> it's 2033. Just, <laughs> it's always like, yo, you ever heard of Nickelback? <laughs> Speaking of Pickleback. Yeah. He's like, uh, our claim to fame now is just rhyming with a chaser. <laughs> you ever heard the song Rockstar? Huh? We all just want to be here, be rockstars. Is everyone taking their shots except for me? Cheers, buddy. I'm going to need a pickle as well. Oh, oh. here. Here. Yeah, just oh. just drink it from the from the oh, bottle, dude. There you go. Oh yeah, just get this. COVID nineteen, be damned. Uh, I think I just vomited. And the, the crowd goes wild. Mm. All right. That's good. Did, That's a good pickle. In a shortly. Uh, you didn't even say that to the microphone. We'll be back in a shortly. <laughs> All right, I'm glad you didn't correct yourself. All right, let's go. And he'll do ham. All right, perfect. <laughs> He's like, fuck white people. Ham. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, oh, oh, my God. I wish we I was, I was, happen, I w- like, two more minutes I later. wish. We, I, oh wish my God. I really wish that oh, would have happened. you hooked it on that. Yeah, of course I did. No, you hooked it on this, dude. <laughs> what the dude, fuck? Dude, Aaron and I were looking at that <laughs> no, happening. No, no. Oh, yeah, no. Was- we're still. Hey, you know what's funny? We're still recording. That could be. Well, I know, but it we can edit natural. that shit in. You can edit that. We in can there. edit that shit in. Ladies and gentlemen, this podcast is brought to you by Sweet Martha's shit cookies. Oh, I'm sorry, <laughs> Sweet Martha's cookie jar. 
You guys ever been to the Minnesota State Fair? It's underwhelming. But you know what isn't underwhelming is these fucking cookies. You can buy out. See this tin? See this plastic tin of cookies? <laughs> you can fit like 20 cookies in here and it's for a million dollars. <laughs> it's worth it. And then all your stupid friends will think that um, you're awesome because you bought shitty cookies for way too much money at the Minnesota State Fair. Sweet Martha's. It's a fucking ripoff. <laughs> and now on to our guest, Ethan, for our second sponsor of the podcast. Hello, good people at home. I enjoy a cold hams. You know who else enjoyed a cold hams? My grandfather. My grandfather was an honest, hardworking man. He spent many years as a janitor at a hospital. And on the the side, he did people's taxes to make extra money. Shortly after going off of his bipolar depression pills, I know that he enjoyed an ice-cold hams while listening to Alex Jones and ordering guns on the internet. Hams, it's for patriots. It's all right. <laughs> <laughs> and now, time for the second half of the podcast. It's the Going Hard Podcast. Producer P. Welcome back to the podcast, guys. We're here again. I'm Josh. This is Alan. This is our special guest, Ethan Pearson. Hilarious comic. Hey, welcome back, everybody. And just an all-around good half-black man. All right, so... <laughs> the good is the half-white. hey yo. <laughs> yes. The half-good part. <laughs> no, you know what? I'm so progressive that I think the good part of you is black. <laughs> okay. All and right. the white part is evil. That's what I want you to think, and then I take your wallet. That's what... You son of a bitch. <laughs> I let you into my home. <laughs> All right. No, no, no. So anyway, that was racist. Um, but, uh, <laughs> um, so this is the part of the podcast where um, we, we transition into music and listener emails. Yeah, speaking of which, what, what do we want to do for music today? Well, I tell you what, we have a special treat for you guys this, uh, for this time because um, Alan has not yet begun the music, whereas in previous podcasts, he's, he's laying the groundwork. So you don't have the experience of experiencing, you know, the, the different layers. Yeah, the right? experience of experiencing things. Words yeah. are retarded. <laughs> um, but <laughs> most importantly, you guys are in for a special treat. Um, so what I'm going to do right now is I'm like, going to give this here chord to producer Alan. Yeah. What, what do we want? Like, as far as, like, genre goes, though, like, I want you two to be in charge of, because, like, I, uh, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's, like, some col- collaborative, like, sort of thing that can be I thought you were going to say here, cultural, but... and I was going to slap you. I don't know. Fucking... I'm, I'm just, <laughs> well, Jesus Christ. All right. What do you guys want? Like, what genre do you want? Like, what are we, what are we aiming well, for? Well, I know that Ethan's favorite band is Smashing Pumpkins, right? Is that real? Can say, yeah, that's that's real. Maybe not your favorite okay. band, but I know you're a big fan of. So, yeah, like yeah. yeah, I listen to like rap and rock, and their favorite rock. And bands. I was very yeah. recently thinking about uh, wanting a Beck song. Oh, okay. So okay. if you can like dive into like some kind of '90s um, alt. All right. Well, I'm gonna immediately say yes, and then uh, uh, as is tradition with uh, this music situation, it's gonna turn into something entirely different. Well, that's, <laughs> you guys will just have to deal with that's it. That's totally fine. But okay, all right. Well, I, like I know I like it. I like it. I'll, um, ha- I'll have you start on that, and in the meantime, we'll read our listener emails of the week. Okay. And once again, I think you guys will um, will probably know what most of these are gonna be. Dear Joshua, attached are the test results of your very important medical test. (laughs) All right, I'll click this PDF. I mean, phones are such fucking pieces of shit. Hold on. Hey, Pierce to Pierce, this is my is gonna be my downloads. Where am I going to find this? Uh, 
folks, I'm reading the phone right now. It says, Josh, I'm sorry, but you have a medically small penis. You uh, have, I have tested positive for COVID-19. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait, wait. That has to be a joke. That has to be a joke, right? <laughs> Producer Pete, you curated these emails. Why did you have me read this live on the podcast? I I don't don't no I didn't don't look at me. Did I? Oh, uh, I, I'm on my. Wait per- wait wait. Is this is this Petey's uh, personal? This is email? my personal. Oh fuck. Okay. I didn't go to the going hard. All right. Email. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure. You, I'm sure you guys won't get it. I'm sure. It seems unlikely that you guys would get it <laughs> at this point. Next email. Hey, going hard podcast. This seems to be for us. Uh, yeah, I think this one. They found your direct email. This is less personal. Oh, you switched over. Okay, okay. Yeah, you. In today's world, you can use a few finger swipes. <laughs> hey. Going Hard Podcast. Best wishes to all of you during this tough, tough time. I know that when I lost Trump, I went through a serious, dark depression. But now, all I can think about is Kamala Harris and Jill Biden fucking and fucking hard. (laughs) And that's all thanks to you guys painting that specific picture during episode three. I know I might be a couple episodes behind, but God damn it, are you guys geniuses slash pornographers. Thank you so much for all you can do. I hope someday I can repay it when you guys have a Patreon and and everyone pays you a lot of money. Sincerely, Dave from Shreveport. That's a, that's... That was nice. That's promising. Yeah. It sounds like like we have uh like we're not just doing this for no reason anymore. I think we've brought a lot of people together uh, by talking about like different political affiliations fucking each other. That's yeah. what that's what I call working across the aisle. Yes. You know what I mean? Like, yes, they can all really, shake yes. dicks across the aisle. That's 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 uh that's like one of our things that we've been really like uh consistent about is talking about like, you know, us fucking politicians. Yes, politi- and them fucking each poli- other. politicians fucking politicians, <laughs> yes. uh, politicians fucking normal citizens. Yes, like, fucking you know, children, um, animals, uh, you know. Yeah, literally literally across the board, just politicians just having intercourse with other things. Okay. So we have one more email that we decided to read. I think we all kinda know where this is going. Is it Jerry? Well, <laughs> Dear producer Pete. Oh yeah, it's Jerry. Jerry. Roses <laughs> He's happy, are red. Your Volkswagen is gray. <laughs> I really, really love you, and I swear that I'm not gay. <laughs> Every single day I listen to your old podcasts. And little did you know that I'm wearing a cast. Hmm. I guess. Pretty terrible. Yeah, that wasn't uh, where I thought it was going. Well, it's there's more. Okay, I'm just upset at that. From jacking off to your pictures on the interweb, my wrist broke off my hand, and now I have just a nub. That doesn't even rhyme. <laughs> this is really the poem started okay. Yeah, it was good for a second. All right, let's wait still more. I hope someday you'll meet me outside of a spirits. God knows that you work there, and God knows that you fear him. <laughs> anyway, just wanted to let you know that I'll never stop listening to the podcast, and I think that you're the best part of the podcast, and I think that Alan and Josh are not good on the podcast. I think that you're the only one who's good. Thank you so much. <laughs> much love, XOXO. Jared from Michigan. Okay, so... Big surprise. Yeah, no, obviously, but, like, okay, so he knows... Uh, where PD works and what he drives. Wait, well, how do you figure that? I mean, he like he space he has stated it in the email. oh shit. So you drive a, a gray Volkswagen? <laughs> I'm not. Um, <clears throat> I'm not disclosing that. Do you work at a place called A Spirits? <laughs> also not disclosing. Oh fuck. It seems like he's gonna be quickly human traffic. So Jerry from Michigan is. 
no longer in Michigan. He might be in Minnetonka. Uh, this doesn't bode well. For why him. did you? Why did you have me read that? Yeah, he literally sent this. He was the one who fucking. He didn't send it, it, but I gave him a list. No, this, I have this. I qu- promise I have this, you, I don't know this guy. I have the same. <laughs> I have the same question every single uh, episode. But uh, why are we still allowing uh, producer Pete to? I think we need to stop email. reading these emails, and I think maybe he needs to go to a women's shelter or something. <laughs> producer Pete, have you even like appeared on camera at all? Uh, no one has any idea who I am. No. So it's just it's just purely off the voice. Uh, yeah. It's yeah, something. Uh, that, uh, yes. That, okay. Uh, that, right. see, do, you, do you understand why? That now? just yeah, that just gave me a little chills right there. Like, yeah. This is the a- ASMR part of the podcast from Pete speaks. <laughs> you know. He does have a nice voice. Talk, talk. Hey, real, real nice and deep, like. Oh, hey, Pete. Actually, if you if you wouldn't mind, can you say, oh yeah, <laughs> oh yeah, Jared. Uh yeah, just do it just, just for just like thirty bit, seconds, just, just for thirty seconds. Oh yeah, um, oh yeah, Jared. This should help. This is great. This will help. This is great, actually. This will keep him off. This will keep him off his trail. <laughs> yep. We can uh we can save that that clip from uh soundbite for later. I don't think we have to save it. I think that Jared from Michigan will get the point that he wants something to do with him. Now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> Uh, I'm worried that we're not gonna have a producer, not not because of, but because of like abductions reasons. Yeah, because <laughs> of apparently human traffic is rampant. Yeah, yeah, we're days. back to this. Uh, yeah, uh, Jer- Jerry is actually uh, uh, been hired and uh, as part of uh, Ashton Kutcher's whole crew of his pedophiles. child molesting, yep. human trafficking ring. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that initiated that, that initially started from punked. Yeah, because they all they all thought it was a joke right away, and then he started actually abducting people. Hey, can you help me and get this couch in the van? And that's that's why it was canceled. He's like, "Sorry, Dax Shepard, <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna take you and rape you and take you to Mexico." <laughs> the ones that caught the ones that caught on to it, he let yeah. them go. The ones that didn't caught it was on, always like these like it, he fucking took that. He's thing. like Jason Maxiel, I'm gonna take you. Jason Max, wow. He <laughs> <laughs> was always like a third string center on the fucking <laughs> that Detroit is not a name. I've heard since 2K12. I'll tell you that is not a name. <laughs> Jason Maxiel. Can I just I would say, say Tyron oh, Lue, but he's a coach. Oh, here we, what, what's up? What's I was up? just going to say, I, I felt like I was Ken Kniff for a minute. Oh. Who's Ken Kniff? Did he get, uh, did he get Eminem's uh, uh, alter ego? Yeah. Alter ego, yeah. Oh, I didn't even know that. It's great. Oh, Have you yeah, ever... Eminem. As a... As... <laughs> As a white guy and a white beater, the fact that I don't know a lot of Eminem <laughs> That's true. Is upsetting. And, yeah. and, and I'm I'm a fraud, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Oh, so shit. wait, 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 hold on. Oh yeah, your face is oh, concealed, yeah. you nope. ass. No, no, no. Both of you guys were uh wearing backwards hats, so I mean Yeah. Isn't it weird how we have Ethan on the podcast and now we're wearing backwards hats. That seems a little Oh, we're just repeating jokes from the first half of the podcast now, huh? <laughs> yeah, uh, preferably. Fucking hat. <laughs> it was such a brilliant You're a goddamn hat. It was such a brilliant first half. I would like to repeat it. I thought it was. Um, so let's get to the music. Let's 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 knock it out here. Yep. This is super dope. Hey, so by the way, guys, while we're here, we haven't done this yet. Um, but if you would like to uh, have your emails read like they've been read tonight. Uh, you can go to goinghardpodcast at gmail.com. Send a message. Anything, man. We'll read it. Um, I know Jerry from Michigan seems to have a bit of a monopoly on, on the emails, but after tonight, I don't think he should really be read anymore. So we need more emailers. Um, our Twitter is at goinghardpod, at goinghardpod. Instagram, at goinghardpodcast. And then uh, our Facebook, we have a page, just Going Hard Podcast. And then if you type in at Going Hard Pod, it'll take you right there because the algorithm fucks us because we support Donald Trump <laughs> Jr. <laughs> Fuck Hillary! Fuck uh, Elizabeth Warren! All right, all right, all right. Yeah, right down there. I mouthed it hard. All right. That's okay. the future. Instead of a microphone, you're just holding a whole iPad. Up <laughs> <your face>. yeah, <laughs> got my eyes are the camera, and you we have we have the like camera. I can see it. we have like seven microphones here. But like, so many we microphones. Just, we just dude. cannot get one connected to this iPad. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to hold up the whole ass thing to your mouth. 
<laughs> so many microphones, yeah. Doug. All right, are we all right? Yep, let's do it. One, two, I want to do a three, four. Just want us to know that that loop is gonna be dope. <laughs> <laughs> and that is the latest single from uh, uh, the metal band Down with the Syndrome. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? Well, the only way to know is to listen to it. Well, I'll. W- bye. <laughs> <laughs> hey, adios. All right. Peace. Happy to have you. <laughs> Thanks for coming out tonight. Thank you for coming out. (laughs) (laughs) All right. That's going to be so Thank you all for coming to the show. care about us, but it's really important that you are here. We can all now pay for beer for our folks. They're alcoholics. They're alcoholics. We're alcoholics. Just load the podcast up on your favorite app. 
just love the puck at the puck, your favorite app. And if you don't, you know that we will. You can traffic you and your family. For the Going Hard Podcast.